the gold standard for identifying whether a molecule is driving tumor genesis is to knock it out and then show that tumor genesis is blocked. So we had specifically identified that COX-2 was related to tumor genesis. However, we were worried that our protein analysis was identifying both COX-2 and COX-1 due to their sequence similarity at the protein level. And so it was very important for us to be able to identify specific downregulation of COX-2 in our tumor cells at the mRNA level. We had tried other reagents, um, other primers, and we had not been able to successfully amplify COX-2 in the wild type or the knockdown cells. So when we obtained the prime PCR assays, we were finally able to do this. We are interested in how inflammation might promote breast cancer metastases. And this is important because breast cancer can be removed from the breast with surgery, but ultimately women succumb to metastases. So we were interested in how inflammation might promote the processes of metastases. So having identified COX-2 as important for multiple phenotypes associated with increased metastases, we were really interested in what would happen if we knocked down COX-2. We used a lot of different primers that we designed ourselves. We ordered primers from lots of different people, um, and we really could never get it to work. And so we finally ordered the prime PCR primers for COX-2, and we were able to, for the first time, observe the knockdown at the gene level in our knockdown cells. We were also able to identify new reference genes based on the reference gene panel showing genes that did not change with COX-2 knockdown. And so this really has changed the way we're able to analyze COX-2 expression. We are able to investigate downstream targets of COX-2 that might be downregulated or upregulated in response to loss of COX-2. One of the things that we've observed as significantly changed by COX-2 expressing cells is the number of lymphatic vessels produced by lymphangiogenesis in the tumor microenvironment. So we are interested in using prime PCR to understand how lymphatic endothelial cells change in response to tumor cells that are expressing COX-2. So the difference between Prime PCR and the products that we've tried before, including designing our own primers, was that it worked, and it worked reliably and consistently. And so based on those results, we were really able to verify COX-2 knockdown every time and verify other genes that are knocked down in, in response to COX-2 knockdown. So now that we are able to routinely confirm that our cells have lost the mRNA expression for COX-2 as well as the protein expression, we are moving on to some more elaborate in vivo models where we can determine the exact role of COX-2 in promoting the aggressive tumor cell phenotypes that we observe.